What is up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of How to Minecraft. As you can see, I'm not at my usual setup. I'm actually in Germany right now at Gamescom. Um, I've been given after hours access to the YouTube gaming booth where they have these setups that I can stream from as you can see behind. So shouts to them. Thanks to them. I'm hoping everything's going to work okay. I'm on a second floor in a glass box. Let me turn off these lights and you can kind of see. Can you see? Can you see, like, out there? You, like, may see the occasional person, like, walking past down there. Um, I'm hoping everything is going to work. Um, if the game volume is slightly off, let me know. Um, if there's too much background disco music in the background, it's because some German guys are having a massive party in this uh, Gamescom hall. And they're, and they're, they're bumping their, their funky music in the background. Um, so, hopefully everything works, the plan. This took a lot of uh, emailing and messaging higher-ups at Gamescom and YouTube to actually enable me to be here after the event is officially closed to live stream. We're on How to Minecraft. Um, I haven't been able to double-check the audio levels myself because it's recording to multiple tracks. Um, but I'm going to open and close some chests. You guys can let me know if that's too quiet or too loud. If you can hear that okay, um, let me know. Um, just a general idea would be good. But we are back. Everything has returned to usual since... Uh, <laughs> The epic pillager war of last episode and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, it's all good. You love to hear that. You love to hear that. My deaths are reverted to normal. Although I'm on a, you know, a mouse and keyboard that's not mine. I'm on a German keyboard. And it's not QWERTY UIOP. There's the Z on the top row of keys and it's throwing me off. Okay, people saying it's a bit quiet. I can just boost it up a bit for you guys. Alright, is this how you would like chests to sound? That probably, yeah, that probably looks like a better mark. You don't want it too loud. I'll give you a tiny bit more than that. There we go. We'll do a chest check. But yeah, today we're going diamond mining. As you can see, um, actually, slash skill. We can't see the skill tree, but my uh, slash mining is at its maximum level. So I've got a 4% chance of a double drop. Um, I have my beautiful efficiency 5 silk touch unbreaking pickaxe. Ready to go. I'm going to clear out my inventory. I'm not going to need the golden apples for mining. Famous last words, potentially. People want it louder. Okay. I mean, I can give you a bit louder. Um, let me just bump it up here. I mean, yeah, the, 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 the German techno in the back is quite loud. It's, they've got some real techno vibes. <laughs> um, okay. Let's throw away the things I don't need. You know what? Let's use this. Let's actually use a shield today. Everyone's like, Vic, you always have shields. You never use them. No, the thing is, it blocks part of my screen. What happens when you... <laughs> What happens when you go flat when you have a shield? Oh, no, that's going to annoy me because I'm going to do a lot of crawl space mining now. That's going to be annoying. Um, we are going to leave the shield behind. It's fine. I never use them. I always forget anyway. All right. It's, it's perfect. I'll give it a tiny bit more. I mean, it's going to... Yeah, and we're going to turn hostile creatures down a bit. Okay. But before we go, I was thinking... I don't know the statistical best way to get diamonds in Minecraft... Um, however, however, I'm, I think a good idea is to go into the new area all the way out there, because I know no diamonds have been mined out there, and look in the ravines that go down to, you know, the really low depth. Like I did when I found diamonds very recently. Um, I'm going to bring some doors with me just for breathing, and I want some trap doors to collapse myself, so to speak. Um, should I just bring a bunch? You know, I'm going to go to spawn and just buy a load of wood. Are they playing copyrighted music? I'm really scared that this disco outside... Oh, uh, drink milk to get rid of the, uh, the spooky effect. Yes, I shall do that. Um, man, I could be partying with all these German people, but... <laughs> here we are. Now, I'm going to the YouTube gaming party after this, which should be good fun. You know, just... We got... Wait, actually, my ballot is big in the house because I got my feather money. So, let's, let's treat ourselves. What kind of wood are we feeling like buying today? Dark oak log wood. There we go. Let's buy 64 of that. How much is that? $128. We love that. We love that. Alright, so now let's go home. Let's drink a bucket of milk just in case I come across a village. I'm going to make myself a load of trap doors just to save me time whenever I want to go one by one mining. And we're going to try a bit of one by one mining. We're going to try a bit of underwater mining. We're going to try a bit of everything. So, let's make... How do you make trap doors? Is it just two? No, that's a pressure plate. It's three. No, it's six. Brain cells, activate yourselves. We do not have time for these kind of activities. All right, let's make a bunch of dark oak trapdoors. I might as well make a few more. My goodness, these guys these guys party hard out here. Can you hear that outside? <laughs> Nothing I can do about that, I do apologize. 
All right, let's just take a stack of wood with me. You never know what you're going to need it for. So I've got my trap doors. Um, I may as well make some extra doors while we're here, just, just, just in case we have a need, you know, a little bit. Actually, yeah, that would be really good for underwater mining. I also want to... I've got even more doors. Okay, hella doors, hella trap doors. Use TNT fly machines to mine. <laughs> Imagine the scenes. Imagine the absolute scenes. But, before we go, I don't even... Okay. I mean, I could use these diamonds. I want to get uh, an aqua affinity helmet, but I don't think... You know what? Okay, let's, this, this armor's super scuffed. I've got loads of stuff to disenchant, actually. I've got all this junk from last episode. This is like my junk. And eventually, I'm going to salvage all this stuff. But here, let's take that protection one off. I mean, actually, it almost feels a waste. I mean, I guess I could repair this diamond helmet. It's like I have no diamonds to get what I want here. All my books have ended up downstairs. I do apologize. I need to buy that slime block. I should have done that while I was at the shop today. For that, I'm not on point. I've had a very long day today. And I the last time I ate was breakfast. Uh, breakfast. And it's uh, currently 7.45 p.m. here. No, 8.45 p.m. here. So, yeah. Or oh, loyalty three. I know that's a cool enchant, but not what we want. I don't want to, you know, I think I'd burn a level one here. I mean, we may as well look at the bow as well. Let's see. Because, I mean, I want to get a cool dude bow at some point. Ooh, flame. If it's flame and power four, I need that at some point, so I'm sending it. Yes, flame power four. I combine it with that, and that's, that's a god. That's a flame one. Power five, I'm breaking three bow. That's perfect. We'll do that when we've got lower levels on our case, though. So we'll leave that behind. I don't feel bad about that at all. Still on breaking three. Oh, no, they're definitely playing copyrighted music now. Do I need to talk louder? Minecraft music, we need to, to override the disco tunes outside. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right, let's think about this. I'm going to have to talk. If I stop talking and YouTube detects that there's... A bit of bit of Medusa playing in the background. <laughs> we get we get in that swift copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, I actually hate to see it. <laughs> I I thought everything through except the fact that they might be having an after party inside this venue. There was Acrofinity. On the level two enchant. Oh. Wait, on here. Oh no, it must have been before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you can't hear the music. Oh, we're chilling. This this mic must be really good. I apologize if I just skip past Aqua Affinity. That was very, very rude of me. Quick charge one, efficiency three. Okay, you can't hear the background music. You're chilling. These microphones must be really good. I can hear it loud, so. Don't know how that's happening. Alright. Let me work out. We don't have another. You know, I've got enough diamonds. Actually, the diamond reward lets me make another diamond sword. Because we still need... A top tier diamond sword. And we don't have one yet. Like, My swords are trash so far. Actually, you know what? Tell a lie. Should we just disenchant that? I just I just don't... It, I just don't want knockback. I just don't want it. It's just a, it's just an annoying enchant. Especially when you're just trying to get mobs out of the way. Nice and quickly. I got some decent XP from that. Alright. Let's try this one again. <laughs> I, hate, I hate you. I hate you, game. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's just drop one level on a book. No harm done. Got thorns too. Nah. Aqua Affinity question mark. You know what? It's a scuffed helmet, so I'm taking it. Aqua Affinity 2 for the culture. Oh, wait. Is Aqua Affinity just... Just a... I feel like it... Is it just a one level thing? I've got hella fire protection. Depth stride as well. Aqua Affinity's good. Um, what was it? Our respiration would have been really nice. But... We'll work with that. It's fine. To be fair, I can get some more XP right now for one more level 30 enchant. I'm going to do that if you guys will bear with me. And then we go mining today. Oh, I need um, to make boats. Let me make a couple boats. The more the merrier. Let's make three boats. You never know when you're going to need them. Alright, let me... Oh, but I, I need to re-enchant that sword. Hello, horse. This is my horse. My horse is amazing. Why is there... Very random for a horse to be here, but I am not complaining. How did it get here? I'm going to tame it. And we're going to we're gonna play him with the cows. <laughs> I mean, I have a saddle. Yo, this is my horse. My horse is amazing. 
Are you tamed? Can we tame you? Yo, this guy not wanting to be tamed. Please don't tell me they changed taming. I need to drink milk. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Alright, well... Okay, we tamed him. We tamed him. Alright. Uh, let's put him in a safe spot. Let's get a bucket for that, for the cows. Um, where's my saddle? Here it is. Well, that's going to make traveling via land even easier. So maybe, with a bit of luck, today we can find ourselves some horse armor. Let's see. He's pretty darn quick, if you ask me. What's the jump? Oh, he only looks like he's got like a block and a half of jump. So we'll have to do some horse breeding to get better versions of him down the line. But he can chill with the cows right now. Um, okay. Yes, milk. Milk, milk. I need to uh, also silk touch some turtle eggs and make like a turtle, uh, a turtle harvesting thing. Because now I've got silk touch, I can get eggs. I can plant them somewhere with hoppers underneath. Um, as you can probably see, I'm struggling with this mouse and keyboard. All right, let's get rid of this bad omen before I start the second pillage war of this series. There we go. We got him. We got him. All right. So it's time to harvest the wheat farm. Get some XP in the life. The more of this stuff we get, the better. It is the major source. And look at that. No herbalism levels. Um, Pete has a trident farm, apparently. Okay, cool. I mean, I really want to get one from Killing a Drowned. And to be fair, we're going to under <laughs> underground work. <laughs> no! No nuke! No nuke, please! I'm just a farmer! I'm just a peaceful farmer. Honestly, honestly, Sailor Creep really did, really did make a top 10 anime comeback. <laughs> Alright, I can't be bothered to use the seeds, but we can breed the cows pretty dumb. Yo, I got a better idea. No one's even- oh! I didn't mean it, I misclicked. I go to sleep now. Slept, please. Yay. Rise and grind, gamers. Show sidearms is online. Boy's getting on here early. <laughs> the music is so loud right now. It's, it's, it's whenever I stop talking. Ah, uh, that has made me hella sad. We have to fix this before we go outside again. Aha. I happen to have just the right thing. Me lamp. Okay, we've got to be careful with the misclicks on that. So, alright, you guys have cooked. Do we get XP from that? No, because we didn't damage him. You hate to see that. Alright. Do some cow breedamorization. So what you've got to do is you've got to follow the 50 stack of cows in here. And that is how you get maximum breederization. I'm making up words for the culture. These stacks, they'd be crazy. I should probably kill a couple cows actually. It's almost as good as... Well, it's better than breeding them for XP. I need that fire aspect sword as well. Although I did say potentially I could create like an auto cooker for XP. Because I have, like, so much chicken drops. I mean, look, we're back up to level 30 like that. We love that. I might just have to YOLO a sword enchant so I have a usable sword. Annoyingly. As long as it even it has, like, sharpness 2. As long as it doesn't have um, knockback, we're a big chillin'. Oh, wait, this thing's overridden itself. Um, do I leave a button here? No. All right, we'll get it. You know what, I'm gonna... Can I get a button, please? Here we go. Let's put a button here. To activate the damn thing. Wait, the but the pulse on a button is mad slow. Like gives like a long delay. Alright. There we go. We'll get some more chicken scent. There we go. Alright, leave you guys to it. Okay. Um Right, what were we gonna do? Yes, the sword. For enchantment memorization. Please give me a good option here. I'm begging you, game. Oh, wait, no, it's the knockback too. Wait, sharpness two. Do I just take sharpness two? Feels like such a cop out. You know, I'm gonna kill cows till I get another level. I'm gonna kill cows till I get another level, and then we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna have to make sure my horse is not in the kill zone. I mean, let's, let's test. So, can he jump two blocks? He can jump two blocks. 
Can he jump two and a half blocks? He can jump two and a half blocks. Can he jump three blocks? Ooh, actually, three blocks. Can he do three and a half? <laughs> I've got a makeshift horse testing ground. Now, okay, he's a three block horse. That's actually really good. I think the max you can get is four and a half or five. I don't know if that's changed recently. But that's pretty wild. Alright, it's time for cows to die. Heads will roll. Heads will roll on the floor. I don't know what I'm on about. We need these guys to stack up more. Maybe we should give him a smaller pen so he can get more multi kills. Or maybe I'll put them on the corner. Now they're running around. Do not recommend you try this at home. Okay, level 31. Is five and a half is the most one can jump. Alright, we got so many drops. Oi, the baseline. They're playing some bangers with some bass outside. <laughs> I can't even. Alright, this just goes in the meat tank. <laughs> in the young meat tank. To be fair, actually, we'll probably be able to sell this stuff to spawn soon. I don't know if we already can. I don't think we can. Can I get a fact check from the chat on that? That would be good to know. Did I use this many? I used a load of arrows the last time I was fighting things. Okay, so we're going to burn an enchant on a book. And then we're going to go for another sword. Oops, I've got my looting one with me. Okay. So we burn this. Efficiency one. Whatever, please. You know what? Smite four. Down. Good for just like... get <laughs> The curse of knockback. To be fair though, I think that will one bang. Will it one bang zombies? I hope. I hope it will. I think it might. I don't know. But, man, we are cursed by knockback, too. <laughs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, they playing, like, Cardi B right now outside. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. Ooh, one thing I want to do that I can do right now is I want to put this map up. I know this is a random thing to be doing right now. I made a mobs drop chest as well. I think you make an item frame... Is it? Oh, it's with leather, actually. Which we have an abundance of. Let's get some item frames up. Like this. Alright, here we go. Item frames a go. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm actually getting hyped by the music. So can I put this in here? Will that look cool? Ooh. I think I need to, like, complete that map, actually, for it to look cool. I might... I'll go and do that at some point. Off cam Where's this zombie? Do you hear that zombie? <laughs> yeah, I need to add the water back to the drop down thing. Yeah, I'm going to do that now, actually, because we don't need aqua levels anymore. Where are me dark wood signs? Are you telling me that they've disappeared? Well, I'll just make another bunch. Alright, here we go. Let's put this back, like, there, I think. Yeah, we need it there. Or do I, you know, I'm not, I'm buying the slime block. I'm being progressive here. Let's go to spawn. Sorry, I'm supposed to be diamond mining, and I want to get a bunch, so I need to go and, like, I'm going in two minutes. Yeah, we can hear it quite loud. <laughs> I have zero control over this. <laughs> like, go over to 100 people, like, hey, guys, I'm trying to stream Minecraft. Can you, like, keep it down right now? <laughs> that would be too much. So, who's the guy? Random guy? Nope. I was told I can buy. I was told I can buy. Um, slime. Can buy scoot for 350. Oh no, sell scoot for 350. Oh, I can actually sell wheat for five dollar hair as a piece. Potatoes, four for five dollars. Bamboo, you can only sell, but you can't buy. Can you buy? Can you buy slime? I feel like I was actually led into deception. Or I'm being a fool. Yeah, no, I don't think... Why would you be able to buy slime? I don't think you can. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what, I don't know what you mean. Uh, I'll buy two blocks. I kind of low-key... I'm not too keen on, like, that buying of slime. Like, I like the idea of, like, you have to go and... You have to go and find that swamp biome, but... Ah. Eh. 
solution installed. So now we're good. They are bopping out the tunes down below. Alright, so we'll put the map back. We'll complete it down the line. I'm going to put the item frame in there because that's only going to go with cool stuff. Put you back in the mob drops. Mob drop land. Alright, we're ready, ready as ever to go. We're going mining now. <laughs> Sorry, it took me five ever, ever, ever. Okay, we need you, you, you. We need the boats. Um, we need the shovel. We need the torches. That seems like a pretty, pretty sick hotbar if you ask me. And then we'll have our diamond ore count in the right-hand side there. Let's stock up on some food and let's go. Okay, let's test it out. Woohoo! I love that. Adds a, adds a little bit of fun to the day. A little spring in my step. Okay, out into the land we go. Hello, turtle. I will not imprison you in my turtle farm. Okay. Diamonds. What do you guys think? I think, yeah, the best shout is going to be start off. We've got, we got a bit of aqua affinity. It's going to be start off by looking kind of underwater caves. Oh, they've added a new island to their realm for the super spruce trees. I think it's going to be, yeah, start with those underwater ravines that go straight down to diamond level. You can swim around so fast. Um, I can go over the water bubbles to get air. I can uh, do all my thing, do all my things. And then I think I will test out like one by one. Um, it's, it's not strip mining. It's like, what's it called? Where you make like a grid. I don't know. I don't know what it's actually called. You never know. We might find some more shipwrecks. I don't know if anyone's explored the sea out here. Why are there so many boats? This is a little ominous. It's like, do not pass here. Many sailors have crashed, of course. Underwater caves for litty oars, yeah. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Isn't that a homage to last episode if you've ever seen one? So, yeah, this is the one that me and Josh checked. So, out here should be very much unmined, uncharted territories. Strip mine along the border. Why the border? Also, I don't need the fortune pickaxe because I've got my silk touch. So I'm going to get all the ores and I'm going to take them home and uh, fortune them all at once, which will be very exciting. All right, let's be on the lookout for those uh, water ravine. It's called quarrying. Okay, cool. Grid mining. It's called grid mining. That's what it's called. Yes. Not quarrying. Grid mining. I mean, there's an, I mean hey, another boaty. Let's check it for loot. I don't think this one has been checked. Perhaps an Extreme Hills is worth checking as well for, uh, for what do we call it? Look at this. Emeralds are worth. Absolutely worth. Oh, you know what? Another treasure map. Treasure map. All right, we are drowning. I have done that. I have drowned myself. Can't say no to a bit of buried treasure. Hopefully it doesn't take us two years to find this one. Oh, so this one seems decidedly further away. I can't even work out which way that is. I assume it's down here somewhere? I assume, right? Does this refer to this land? How far away can a treasure map lead you? I have no idea. I've never really done them before. Am I even going the right way? Is there any even any way? This is where I chat. I need you guys to clutch up and hit me with some intel. Some intelligence. So this is the island behind the uh, the pillager outpost island. So we got this edge of the border here. Ooh, two drowned? Do you have a trident? A whole bunch of drowned. But they can't drop a trident if they don't have one. But they can drop a nautilus shell, which I do need. Kind of wish I had my uh, sharpness sword on me. All right, well, let's, let's clap these guys. A Nautilus shell for me, sir. I think there's an 8% chance of getting a Nautilus shell. We didn't get one, but... I mean, we want to be out and about in parts of the world if we can. Southeast. Oh, okay. Southeast is the way to go for that map. I see. So, southeast is south... Southeast is the other way. So, it's probably going to be out of the world border, but let's book it around this way. They're always oriented nautically, with north being up. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, we need to go southeast on this. We nearly have 30,000 people tuned in. Appreciate you guys all being here. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications off so you don't miss any of these live streams. So you don't miss the golden moments that we saw at the end of last episode's stream. Um, yeah, you would hate to miss those. 
We'll see if we can find this buried treasure. We can always gift someone the uh, the young heart of the sea. I mean, we could put paper on the map to make it bigger, or we could. I think we're getting close. We're getting close. That means it's straight south of us, which means it's probably down here somewhere. I assume it wouldn't ever be so far away. I mean, it could be out of the world border, but... Just on a little adventure memorization. The drowned hold the shell. Ah, if I can drop it. I think it's here, right? Yeah, we're starting to re reveal the map. Hopefully this one isn't as tricky to get as the last one. We need to go this way, I think. Um... Wait, no, it is the opposite way. Okay, swing back this way. Do we have any... I'm trying to spot any ravines that go underwater here. I mean, we're just doing a little explore. You never know what you're going to find out in these parts. Alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, it's on this edge of land here. Okay, cool. I guess they're always on, like, the nearest kind of peak of land. Wait. <gasps> you guys told... Oh, no. Oh, no. You guys did warn me about this, and I played myself. A treasure map will always point to the same map unless you destroy the chest. And I didn't destroy the chest. I'm, I'm an idiot for that. No, you guys were spot on with that. Always destroy those after you've... Uh, yeah, I mean, we learned this the hard way. Yeah, it, it will lead you to a map. So this is worthless, essentially. That's a sad, that's a sad, sad time. That is a sad time indeed. Um, yeah, there's, there's no way we, <laughs> there's no way we could have known. All right, should we check these properly now? Because we didn't really, did I really check them properly last time for diamonds? I don't know. Or maybe we find a new one. Let's let's see if we can find a new underwater ravine. A little further along, maybe like through the ice. We can always come back to these, but I feel like I did mine this area pretty well. Oh, if you look for the mag oh that's looking good. That's looking that's looking like it's got diamonds written all over it over here. And this is actually this digs into a new area here. So let's get under there. And let's go and see what we got. Alright, we're swimming in. Underwater operations. Alrighty. I mean, this has delivered us to a cave system. Already explored, I guess, by me, to be honest. Let's see. Damn it, people be fast. Gold is always a super good commodity to get. Not particularly interested in iron here. Let's see what we got in here. Underwater caves. Because we can just swim through them so quickly. I've got my doors on hand for breathing. I feel like this... Like, if there's any diamonds available, this is how we're going to find them. Just by swimming through at this height. If we ever need to stop and breathe. We just place the door down. In we go. Let's get our breath back. And send it back. I should have brought, actually, more doors. Come to think about it. Alright, let's... I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be faster than, like, doing the one-by-one -one strategy. Bit of gold. I'm glad I've got the aqua affinity. It's so much easier to mine this stuff. Do you know what I could do? Look, here, I can make my own air pocket like that. It's actually very easy always to dig down and just make an air pocket as well. Or dig up, actually. All I have to do is dig one block up. So underwater now we've got aqua affinity is not as much of a problem as it once was. Let's see what we got up here. This is the same ravine. Oh, this is a new ravine. No, I definitely want to stay at the depths. Mind the doors back so we don't run out. You know what? Not a bad piece of advice. I ain't got time for that creeper. Ain't a buddy got time for that. Hmm. Yeah. No, mining the doors back would be smart now that we've got aqua affinity. I mean, this is all... How has this all been explored? You know what? I want to go back up. I want to go back up and just find an unexplored area. Because if there are... If there were to be... This is mad. Like, we're so far out from everyone's civilizations. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Is this back to the spot? Yeah. It's a drown, but he's not holding a shell. I've got to look out for one's holding a shell. Some fishies. Okay, we've got to get way to the edge. 
of the map before we do any mining. Let's get right into that corner. So it looks like people have started mining out here. I know that I got the ones over this way. Wait. Let's get our bearings right. Oh. Easy to get disorientated out here. We want to go back out this way. Boat to the edge of the border and mine there. Yeah, pretty much. That is the plan. The edge of the border is out this way. Because, yeah, we've already done that ravine. Probably we've done the one next to it. We want to go right out into the corner here and work in that area. I think, oh, people say it was speedy inside that mine that one. Oh, do we have another ravine here? No, we don't. Okay, this diamond mining. We need to get the show on the road here. Otherwise, we're playing ourselves. Come on, give me a ravine. That I can swim along. I mean, we're going right out into this corner now. Maybe we find another shipwreck, you never know. This is as far out as we can go. Is this Extreme Hills here? If it is, it could be a wonderful place to mine. Let's just get as far out into new realms as we can. Apparently they don't have to be holding a trident to drop it. Okay, the more you know. Is there a route down there? I'm trying to find any opening to a cave I can just swim into to save me. Digging down. Because this is going to be the quickest way to get to the depth we want to be. Did I already check this shipwreck? I think I might have done. I think I already did, but... can never be too sure. Yeah, I think this is the one we just checked when we scuffed ourselves with the map. What is this? Okay, it's honestly not that cool. The magma block there. But nothing that cool there. Alright, let's continue around this island. Let's get to the edge. Edge of the map. Okay. Hello, any water caves? I thought they were way more common because there's like three in a row. I guess it depends on the biome that you're in. Alright, I see a cave opening there. I'm going for it. I'm getting back down to the depths. Oh, we're right on the border here. You know what? This is actually the smartest way to get to the depths. Here's what we're going to do. We're going straight down here because, look, we're swimming down blocks and blocks and blocks. Place down a door for breathing. And now we dig down here. I should have my axe on hand, actually. We don't need torches. That's what we don't need. Actually, you know what? Ah, screw it. Send it. Send it. You can stop me. Alright, I need to go another eight blocks down. You know what we could do here? We could utilize this. What height are we at? We want to be at Y12. Okay, we want to go down one more block. Alright, here we go. Okay, this is not actually very helpful. Wait, let's go. Which way can we go? This way. Alright, well, we got a bit of advantage from swimming. Okay, screw it. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. We go along. And we want to do it every third block because diamonds usually spawn in like a 2x2 two two pattern. So if we keep going like this, I mean, it doesn't really matter if we do it two or three. I think three is the most efficient. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is like the most efficient way you could ever, ever find diamonds. Like, because I'm barely breaking blocks and I'm revealing so many blocks. Every time I break a block, I'm revealing four blocks. Obviously, I don't think it can... Or do I just keep going? No, okay, we keep going like this. Alright. I don't even... There's no real method to the madness here. I just feel like we're going to get some diamonds. This is... This is the best possible way. This is the most likely way to get diamonds. Don't let me down, game. <laughs> um... I want to go back to caves. Come on, come on. Strike me some diamonds so I don't look like I've been sold up the wrong alley here. I'll take the iron as it's on the way. I hear lava. I'm just kind of going random now. <laughs> you know, I prefer caving, I think. Come on. 
Something. Let me find something interesting while I'm down here. Alright. I heard lava. Did I really lose my water bucket? Damn it. Doing this with water is the fastest way of doing it. Okay, where did I hear lava? Okay, I don't hear it anymore. Man is an underwater fish. Way! We knew that would happen eventually. Okay. It's a juicy, juicy stack. Um, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Do I get more than five ores? No, five ores. Yeah, you can't get double drops on those, sadly. I can use water to get back up. Cool. All right, we're back on track. All right, let's see if we can strike some more. Because that five could be, I mean, in the ultimate luckiest place in the world, I could get my 10% double drop on all of those and get myself, like, how many diamonds could we get? We could potentially get 40 from those five ores if I got quad drops with double drops from the uh, skill tree. But the one thing that's nice is I'm not entirely destroying my pickaxe. Vic, you look so tired. Are you okay? Um, after playing the two hours of Minecraft Monday, uh, yesterday, I slept for about five hours. I packed, slept for about five hours, and got on a flight to Germany. Um, we're one hour in the future here. I don't know if that makes any difference. And I've not eaten since breakfast. And now I'm trapped in the convention uh, hall. And uh, I can't go out, because if I go out, the security won't let me back in, because the event is officially closed. I'm kind of here, like, undercover. Um, so all I've eaten today since breakfast is, um, like a few, uh, like a quarter of a tub of Pringles and, and, and a few sweets. So I am, I'm, I'm a melted man, but I, okay. I really want to find a cave. Can we just find a cave, please? Hello, cave. This will do. Give me my pickaxe back. Damn it. What is this? Explain this to me. I want to swim. I want to be swim. Okay, you can only swim up. Wait, what height am I at? Actually, I want to swim up anyway. Let me go. This way. How do you get it to let you swim up properly? Alright, can I swim up here, please? Yes. Okay. We're back on track. Water Aquaman is back on track. Oh, the calming Minecraft music. You should mine uh, redstone. Diamonds are often behind. I mean, you know, I might mine a bit for the XP. It's low-key tempting. All right, let's see. Are there diamonds behind the redstone? Not on this day. Whoa, hey, more diamonds. Please be more than just two. One, two, three, four. Cool, I'll take it. Well, we're doing good. Rates are pretty good so far. Nine ores so far. Okay, you know what? Ooh. Funky fresh. I might do a bit of caving just to mix things up. Alright. This is a diamond heaven waiting to happen. Alright. Ooh. Okay. How did my water go there? Alright, let's see if this short... See if this sword one hits. I mean, that one hits. All right, Skeletro. So it does, does, <laughs> does nine hearts. So troll. Right, we have thirty-four thousand people in the chat. I'm gonna get you guys some more diamonds. Okay, we'll take some gold. Let's see. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, we're back in underwater cave land. Yeah. See, I feel like swimming around here. It's just the absolute best way. Come on, that would have been an awesome place to hide some diamonds. I know I can shift on those to, like, not take the damage, but... The generations are so damn cool. I'm being told diamond in the waterfall, but... Diamond's the other way, apparently. 
Wait. This is the other way. See gold? I'm not, I can breathe here for a second. Oh, they're playing some, some more anthems here. Is there diamond here? I don't know. Where do we start? We started, like, over here. I don't think there's any out here. If I did miss diamonds, I can always come back and get them off camera, if I really did. So don't panic too much. Okay, let's see if we can utilize this. Is that another ravine? I think it is. Alright, let's go and explore in here. Oh, double ravine system. You fancy, huh? Okay, I'm not seeing anything that way. Keep it swimming. It's, I feel like it's in these. That's where you're going to find the diamond. See, look here to test my theory. Look at that. I can just go up here, breathe. Underwater mining is the meta because you just move so fast. And if you have aqua affinity, you're breaking the blocks just as quick. Like, we're getting hella gold. Might make a might make a golden monument, you know? Although, actually, <laughs> the rate of diamond finding during this underwater mining is not fantastic. Look, we just do a little breathe. Okay. The music, it's back. It's certain songs, like the bass, you guys can hear. And then certain songs, you're like, music? What a music. <laughs> Bit of rhythm is a dancer. What a tune. I might have to go and get involved with this party after my stream's done. I can't lie to you all. Look at this. This is a pretty good strategy. Alright. Hard to keep track of where you've been and where you haven't been. Oh. Find a bit of camel fat. <laughs> camel fat is such a random BJ name. Alright, you know what? I don't know about this... Under what mine? I feel like I should have found something by now, but I haven't. So you know, what? let's swim to Y12, and let's uh, let's go on our next expedition. Maybe that's the fastest way to mine. Wait, hold up, yo. Okay. Oh, that looks tempting, but I've already been there. I think. So here's the plan. Okay, this is the meta, right? We go to Y12 at the bottom of a ravine, and this is what we do. We spear. We go bang, 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 bang. So we can do it so fast because of the water. Then we come back and we go again. We poke here. And we go to the end of the water source. And then we go back across. And we send it this way. Out of my way, zombie. I got a meta. Whoa. I'm creating a new meta, zombie. Leave it. Piece of trash. All right, let's do it here. Is this going to be a fast way to find diamonds? Like, I'm mining at the right height to find... What do you know? There we go. I mean, it wasn't exactly the, the method I practiced, but here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we're at 11 diamond ore. Is this the strategy that we love to see? All right, let's go this way. No, wait, that's across my tunnels. I, I, I don't know if I've developed something awesome or not. I'm trying to work it out. As long as the water... Oh, I drowned. Okay. Let's kill you. See if we can get a Tridont or a Nautilus shell. What height is this? This is... No, it's too high. Wow, don't be so rude to the zombie. Dude had it coming. Okay. Alright, let's go here. Alright, let's do it from this, this section here. Is this Y12? Yes, it is. Reloading all chunks. Cheers for that game. But there's certain areas where the water won't flow the way you want it to. I guess you have to be at the lowest point. Screw it. Let's send it from here. Yo, more diamonds. I feel like I could be on to something. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I could be on to something here. I think I... I mean, someone's definitely thought of this before me. You're not a drowned, are you? When you drown, you become a drowned, maybe. But you go so fast on the water, right? Like, there's no real method to this. Let's get back under the underwater world. Right, we just... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> okay. It's not without its own risks, I'll tell you that much. 
<laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stucky. Okay. It's not without its own risks, but we have fire protection and all the other gear to deal with it. Alright, let's uh, not swim ourselves into a lava pool. Bro, chill. Ow. I mean, mobs don't make it a particularly fun strategy. Bye, mobs. Oh, no. I must go now. My people need me. I'm the underwater miner. You guys can't even get here. Haha. -ha. You'll never be like me. I am the great... I'm trying to think of like a more optimized way of doing this. I left two diamond ore floating in the water. Oh, oops. Oh, no. Well, he just killed all his friends. Where was that? It was over here, right? Oh, no. Yeah, I definitely probably did that. Where was it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, do I find more? Where was it? Oh, yikes. Was it like under here somewhere or something? Oh, no. I definitely probably did that. Oh, no. Where were those diamonds? Oh, dear. Were they over here somewhere or something? No. I gotta make sure I collect all my diamond ores. In the cave. In the witch cave. In one of the holes. Yeah, no, I could see that happening. Oh, well. Let us not dwell on the past. Let us move further to better water pastures. Ooh. You know, I think bringing the water bucket could be the key here. Screw it, we can redeploy from here. Alright, let's try and create, um... Yeah, um... Let me try and create a system for this. So, step one would be like, we go, we go down like this. We get the water thing. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we go to here? Place the water down. We go out in this direction to the end. We come back. We go out in this direction to the end. We come back. We go out in this direction. And then we go to the end and we do it again. And this allows us to move really fast. We come to the end. We go here. And we go like this. Come back, we grab it. <laughs> what am I doing with myself? I want to get an area where we're fully encased in stone. This is one of them. Alright, come on, let's find some more diamonds like this. We're mining like a maniac. There's 19 in my inventory. Oh, there's 17. I think we're fine there. I may have missed one or two, but I will learn from that mistake. Is this the key? Have we discovered the meta? I've never done anything like this in Minecraft before. It's like this is like mining with like haste, but it not haste. Come on, give me some more diamonds for my troubles. Alright, this is gone. We back somewhere I think we were here before, yeah. Alright, screw it, let's just I just keep sending it through. I actually, you know what? While we're here, I need more uh, need more magma blocks. So I'm going to grab some of those. My inventory is very much full. What do we not need? The golden nuggets we don't need. The rotten flesh we don't need. I want to get some more magma blocks. Just so we have them. I could create like a moat around my lands as well. Yeah, I see the way blocks sometimes float up. It can be an issue. Alright, let's go back into here. Some more diamonds, please, sir. We 
reduce some more diamonds. Okay, here let's do the crossroad strategy. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what's going on anymore. There's no method to the madness. Just pure hopes for diamonds. It's because I've got depth strike, I think I'm moving so fast. Here is zombie, let's go towards him. Can't find him? Okay, let's keep going this way. When people walk down, like, on the floor beside me, it, it really puts me off because I'm not used to people walking past me as I live stream. Alright, send it from here. This is very hectic. A hectic way of mining. Um, oh no. Oh no. To get back to my water bucket. Have I glitched myself? I think I have. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's get the water back. Let's keep going. Um, Alright, we were on an absolute storm for diamonds. That really, the way the water moved then, it looked so much like diamonds. Is there more water there? What's going on? I'm seeing the water particles, but no, no water. Duck story. Tell the duck story. I'm way too, way too <laughs> exhausted and food food deprived for the duck story. I do apologize. All right, come on, let's have. When I, I want to get to 20 diamond ore. I feel like that would be wild. That should hopefully maybe, yeah, give me more than a stack. We're just struggling on these last few here. What time are we at? Okay. Got a new water bucket. This is prime diamond territory. Oh, emeralds! We love that. That's a little, uh, little surprise you weren't expecting to pick up. Thank you very much, game. An abandoned mine shaft. May as well have a little scout around for, uh, I don't know, some horse armor or something. Can you get those in here? All right. Let's have a little, a little quick search. But yeah, on another day of How to Minecraft, you guys will get the most wonderful of Vic stories. But I'm, I mean, do I look tired? I don't know. I am tired. I'm functioning on maximum. Maximum ability. Maximum ability, is that even a word? Without even trying to tell a story while I do this. Not really feeling this mineshaft. I can't lie. How much gold have we got, though? A lot. How much gold you got? A lot. <sighs> Stuff. I guess it spawns in bigger veins than eight right now. But no, um, I appreciate how many of you guys are tuned in right now. I went to a lot of effort to get the stream going and, you know, I feel like it's paid off. Alright, let's go back to this, the old strategy. Because, yeah, you, you're eventually going to run out of space going like this. Whereas if we use this strategy, we can go all the way out this way. You go back, you go all the way out this way. Hmm. Is world border. Okay. Well, we're mining along the world borders. We know we're in like land that no one else has been to. I know you hit diamonds along this world border. To be fair, I've had much worse times mining diamonds in the past. This is cool. Alright. Oh, wait. How have I ended up this high? I could have sworn I was staying on the same level. Oh, when I went back from the mine shaft, I really added too much height. No wonder we found no diamonds there. Bruh. I thought I went all the way back down. How much gold we got? Nearly a stack. That's pretty much all I wanted. This is it's these caves. These are the caves with diamonds every time. Don't tell me there ain't diamonds here, because I know there are. Okay, none this way. I actually move faster through water. Look at this. Swimming is the way. Oh, they're playing a bit of rag and bone man now. More emerald. 
No complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Come on. <laughs> Just one more. One more thing of diamonds is all I ask. Wild border again. Imagine those diamonds came out. I don't even want to look through the wild border anymore. Silk touch the spawner. That doesn't work in vanilla Minecraft. That's a plug-in thing that a lot of servers have. I'm afraid. Alright. Let's get back underwater again. What height are we at? Why 11? We actually want to be one block up. Let's get that water back. Okay. Damn you, this is... Hey, and there it is. There it is. And it looks like a solid stack. We got three showing. We got three showing out here. We love to see that. Getting carried away on this hype mission. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do you know what we're doing? We're doing the, uh, the Vicstar timer strategy. The way this works is I start mining now and I'm giving myself two minutes to find more diamonds. If I find more diamonds in two minutes, I give myself another two minutes. Also known as I'm addicted and I want to keep mining for diamonds. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Here we go. Alright, we've got two minutes to go. I wonder if there's a way to do this with like multiple water buckets where you like juggle it. There's no real method to the madness at this point. There's gotta be more. How much ore do we have? We have 22 diamond ore. That is beautiful. That is, that is, like if I had 22 diamonds I'd be happy. 22 diamond ores. And say I've not been mining like the whole episode. This is beautiful. I have loads of smooth stone as well if I need it to build anything. I wonder if I should start doing this whole strategy again. I just feel like I'm getting more done when I'm sliding on the water. But theoretically, I mean, nah, actually, the longer like I make these trails, the better it is. A second water bucket would be great for times like this. Water bucket in the offhand. Ah. Yo, genius. Yo, genius. More diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Bucket on the offhand. You, you guys are creating genius matters. Yo, what am I <laughs> I'm time warping. I'm moving at speeds unknown to Minecrafting. Oh my goodness. Think about this. I can do it a click at a time. Alright. I, I got it in the two minutes just about. So. We keep going. I got another one minute thirty to find more diamonds. We're on a diamond multiply here. <laughs> diamond multiplier hype. And we'll be living our best life out here. Gonna get some nice XP from Silk touching all these. I'll be home soon if I carry on at this rate. Alright, let's keep it moving. Oh, so the other thing that's really I really feel bad about right now is uh one of the uh, one of the uh, the legends from YouTube Gaming is actually sat here waiting for me to ooh cheers for the emerald is sat here waiting for me to finish my live stream so she can go to the YouTube Gaming party. So I actually do feel really bad, but we're on a diamond multiply right now. I'm like, I'm sorry for holding you back from going to the party. I just need my diamonds. All right, okay, we check this last cave, and then we're donezo here. Okay. 
This is the last carry. We're running out of time on this multiplier. We got 20 seconds here to find diamonds. <laughs> Wouldn't be uncharacteristic. Oh, yeah, the emerald hype today. Look at this strategy. The bucket in the offhand is truly a matter strategy. Okay, we've got this last bit. Okay. Ten more blocks. The party's hotting up outside. But we're not interested. Vic be like ten more blocks. Alright, two more water bucket placements. Come on, I know these diamonds are out here. Alright. The final water bucket placement. Dig out in all directions. Okay, one more for good luck. <laughs> right? You always need to go go for good luck, right? I just feel like I'm like I've been a block away from diamonds so many times. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm addicted. I need to stop. <laughs> All right, we're taking we're taking the dub with the amount of diamonds we got. Let's go home, fortune this selection up, and see how we did. An interesting new mining strategy for me. I mean, in about 40 minutes we got what 28 diamond ore, four emerald ore. Nice. Okay. Did I just put water down? Where did it go? Where did the water go? Oh, no. Something have drowned. Okay. So, we have all of a sudden a lot of stone, a lot of gravel, coal ore, which we need to smelt to get coal, don't we? Yeah. Is that how it works? Yeah. Wait, no, no. Idiot. Fortune it. <laughs> Guys, it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, wait, why did I put it in a furnace? Oh, it's cooking now, I may as well. Put this in the blast furnace. Oh, we need another kelp. We got another kelp in here. Let's just leave some kelp in there. And leave some up here. This buried treasure map is essentially trash because it's the same as that one, annoyingly. I should have really completed the whole area while I was there. We've got the stuff I need to make my logo looking good. We're going to be fortuning all that stuff. These didn't actually come in that handy. I thought they would be more useful, but they're really not. So we got them spare now. Store the blocks away. Okay, we got our things to fortune in a second here. We need some predictions in the chat for how much we're going to get when we fortune at this. I shouldn't have brought the paper with me. We've got too much paper. All right. Get us the fortune pickaxe. Put this one up here. Yeah, I really need to get Unbreaking 3 books or something. Okay, let's start off with the Emerald. I'm guessing... Ooh, what am I guessing? Slash mining. We don't have Super Breaker yet, do we? Um, let's see. Wait, let me just right-click with the pickaxe and we'll see what we get. No, we don't. We don't. Oh, Enderman getting the kills, sadly. All right, I'm guessing 11 Emeralds from this. All right, let's see what we get. Here we go. I don't know how many we had before. We have like three, I think. I didn't just get six from that, did I? I don't know. Right, we're on six. Seven. Your fortune. Drop many's. Okay, nine. One off. I called 11. Haha. -ha. Okay, we got a lot of emeralds. That's good. Redstone doesn't really matter. Just going to get the XP from all of that. I mean, we're going to get so much redstone out of this. It's going to be stacks upon stacks. It may be worth, actually, you know what, just having a silk touch, I was about to say it may be worth not having a silk touch, because um, then you can, whatchamacallit, then you can kind of like, you get the XP for mining that, ooh, repair, you get repair levels for placing down ores, okay, cool, or was that for smelting, slash repair, wait, no, repair, you get repair from getting smelting and mining levels, I think. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done MCMMO. Okay, so people are already guessing the number of diamonds. We've got a lot of guesses around the 60 mark. I'm guessing 61 diamonds. 61 diamonds is the guess. Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 61 is my prediction. <laughs> the dog who does not have a name. I think I might call him I might call him Diamond Doug. <laughs> I don't know why. 
He's like, bruh. All right, here we go. 61. Okay, let's start things off. Single. That's terrible. This is fortune three. I have to check every time. Uh, let's get an eight times drop. Six. Fortune, you being trash or is something overriding you here? Oh no, that's a double. Can I get a quad? That was three. Okay, four. Four. Two. One. Five. Random number to get one. One. What is up with these one drops? This is the worst fortune luck I've ever had. Okay, four. Nice. Double. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Quads. Quads for days. One. I mean... If this is one, it's actually perfect. A perfect stack of diamonds. Okay. I mean, from 27 ores, yeah, that's, that's still a pretty good rate. We now have an entire stack of diamonds. Perfection. Ba perfectly balanced, like all things should be. Okay. <laughs> well, that was my quest of diamond mining. I was three off. I like my prediction. Um, I'm going to jump off, go and get some food for the second time today. Very excited. And enjoy the rest of Gamescom. Um, I'm not staying for the week at Gamescom as I usually do. I'm flying back home tomorrow so I can live stream some more how to Minecraft. So once again, huge thanks to YouTube Gaming for hooking me up with the setup while I've been out here. Um, so I could go on a diamond mining mission for all of you. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you want to watch some more Minecraft, I played awesomely in Minecraft Mondays yesterday. So 10, 9 mini games, a big tournament, uh, big prize money, uh, like $5,000 to the winner, uh, winning team. So you can go and check that as my previous video. Check out yesterday's How to Minecraft if you missed it. The end is gold. Subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you all tomorrow back at home. Uh, tweet me some suggestions for what you want to see me do next episode. I think I'm going to work on the skylight. Work on crafting some stuff with the diamonds. Um, but yeah, any suggestions, let me know down below. Thank you all for tuning in. We, we did what we came to do. We came on a diamond mining mission and we got a whole stack. Big stack. Love to see it. Developed a new method. I'll see you all on my next stream slash video. Subscribe. Notifications on. Check out some other videos. See you all tomorrow. Peace.